Eddie Gabor with me this morning. Are you, there's a sell-off in NVIDIA. Are you buying it? We did add to it. Fortunately, we raised some cash last week, and we used some of that cash to buy more NVIDIA yesterday when it dropped under 120. We're still not fully where we want to be in that position because I still think there'll be some volatility. But look, after a 40% move in about five weeks, uh, it's expected to get a little bit of a breather. And the bottom line is I really don't think this market can go to new highs and go higher without NVIDIA participating. And because we think markets are going to continue to hit new highs through the summer months, we want to be concentrated in the areas that we think most of the money flows are going to go into. So it could continue to stay choppy short term, but we'll keep buying. What about the market broadening out? I see some of the small cap indicators and the uh, and much smaller than that. They're, they're going up dramatically, far more than big tech at the moment. Yeah, so it's interesting. You know, we saw three straight days of the market, broad market going down, a lot of focus on tech. But we saw some really good things in regards to this market broadening out. You're seeing a bid in healthcare, for example, we have a healthcare ETF that was up over 3% on Friday. It was up again yesterday. Industrials catching a bid, uh, energy catching a bid. So that allows you the luxury of being able to buy things that are down when the other parts of the portfolio are holding up. So if this market does broaden out, that's very positive. And then you'll see the tech trade come back in favor. So sure. uh, it's taking a little bit of a breather right now after a really nice run. But this bull market is still in place, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, we'll take it. Eddie Gabor, thanks for being here. Again, see you soon.